Hello everybody, have you ever wanted to get involved in Bitcoin mining but it's so damn complicated to set up? Well, I, Henry, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily start mining Bitcoins on your computer at home and once it's all set up, you're all good to go forever. Now, the first and most obvious point to get out there is that you need a powerful graphics card to mine or else you're just wasting your time. I'd recommend the bare minimum to be a GTX 960, or the AMD equivalent, and better. So first, let's go ahead and grab your Mac. Just kidding. The first thing you're gonna need is a Bitcoin wallet. This is how you're gonna be able to receive Bitcoins, send them to people, transfer them to your bank account, etc. It's pretty important. If you already have your own wallet, go ahead and open it up and look for your wallet address. It will look something like this. Once you find it, go ahead and copy it to your computer. If you don't have a Bitcoin wallet, I personally use and recommend Coinbase. They make buying and transferring Bitcoins a breeze and they even have Litecoins and Ethereum built into the same account. I'll leave a referral link to it in the description, which helps both of us since every $100 bought or spent on Bitcoin means each of us gets 10 bucks. To get your Coinbase Bitcoin wallet address, that was a mouthful, go to account, find your Bitcoin wallet and hit get Bitcoin address. Go ahead and copy that and now you have your Bitcoin address to receive payments. Now to get your mining software, this is what's actually going to be working your computer and sending Bitcoins to your wallet. We're going to be using NiceHash, the link to download it is in the description. Go ahead and click download, once it's done, extract a zip file to a safe place on your computer. NiceHash is a portable miner, so you need to keep the folder on your computer. You can use your own method, or I'm going to demonstrate by opening File Explorer, going to download, right clicking NiceHash miner, opening with Windows Explorer, and I'm just going to drag this folder over to documents. And now I have this folder for safekeeping. Go ahead and open the folder, right click nice hash miner, then click send to desktop to easily access the program from your desktop. Go ahead and open it up, and it might take a while to open it up your first time. Now that it's open, let's get our settings worked out so that you can get the most possible amount of bitcoins. First, select a server that's closest to you. Then go ahead and paste your bitcoin wallet address which we already copied into this field. You can input a custom name for your computer here to help identify it if you want. Now you can go ahead and open up Benchmark, select your GPU, check every algorithm, and then click Benchmark All Selected Algorithms. Make sure to select Precise on top. This is going to test which algorithm will give you the most Bitcoins per day, so make sure to do this step unless you already know which algorithm you're going to use. Give this some time to finish since it can definitely take a while. Once it's done, go ahead and take a look at which algorithm gets you the most Bitcoins per day. Mine ended up being Dagger or Hashimoto. This is the algorithm you're going to want to mine with. Whatever one's your highest is the one you're going to want to mine with. The last step is to go into settings, select your GPU, and make sure the only algorithm checked is the one that got you the most Bitcoins per day. Then click save and close, and you're good to go. Just click start, and it will start mining. To check the progress on your payment and all that jazz, go ahead and click check my stats online and it'll give you all your information like your unpaid balance and when they'll actually pay it out to your wallet. Some bonus steps for you guys from my experience, make sure your computer's fans are blowing. The GPU gets super hot in your machine and it's important to keep it as cool as possible. In fact, I only mine from 10pm to 10am every day to keep my system as cool as possible. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is very hard work for your GPU to do, so consider some of the long-term effects and whether or not you want to go through with it. That's another reason why I only mine 12 hours a day. The last tip is that Coinbase automatically generates new addresses for you and your old ones are still hooked up to your account. I freaked out because I mined for a long time and I noticed my address on Coinbase didn't match the one on NiceHash and I freaked out thinking that I put in the wrong address in NiceHash. But it's completely normal, you can keep the same original address you put in the nice hash with no issues, it will still connect to your Coinbase account, Coinbase saves all your addresses. Outside of those things, uh, that's really it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below in the comments. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and if it did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on all my social media platforms. That is it techies, have a fantastic day, Tech Lore is out.